Twinny Girl Natural. Hi everyone, yay! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited today because I'm going to be reviewing some of the She Scented Moroccan Gold. Yeah, super excited to try it. So this line is a little bit different. It's a little bit complicated for people who like it simple like myself. But we're going to try it and we're going to see what's what. So I'm going to follow the directions which starts off with shampooing my hair. So I'm going to shampoo my hair. Then I'm going to get into the She Scented Moroccan Gold Clay Mask. Which is supposed to kind of cleanse and condition. But you have to condition after and cleanse before. I don't know, like I said, this line is a little complicated, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work great anyway. So, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I'm back after shampooing. I used the Plum Nectar and I gave shampoo. Um, yeah. And now I'm going to go in with the first star of the show, the Deep Detox Clay Mask. So the ingredients look really deep conditioner-y deep conditioner -y to me but they want us to use it as some kind of in between -y, so I'm going to do that. This is what it looks like. It's not too drippy so I don't have to be too scared. <laughs> it's like cautious but it's not too drippy. It does feel like a nice light cream. Like real light texture like custard I guess. Yeah, it has a kind of custard texture. It has a mild scent. I'm not it's slightly sweet but I'm not really getting fruity at all so this will be like a, at least so far, <laughs> this line isn't fruity as per this one product. It's just kind of sweet. Feels nice going on, just sliding over. Now let's see what it does for slip. The slip is good, not great. So it doesn't feel like a clay mask at all to me, it just feels like a regular BTMS kind of conditioner. <laughs> so that's how I would use it. I definitely wouldn't use this like a clay treatment or anything like that. Because it's not giving me much clay vibes at all, it's just more of a deep conditioner. I'm not sure if I would be pushed to just because it's not exactly a clay mask and I already have, she said the deep conditioners I love with better slip. But am I happy right now? Yes, because my hair is moisturized. Am I disappointed? A little bit because it's not like a clay mask at all. Like it's not even like the charcoal, the flaxseed and charcoal mask was at least kind of interesting but this just felt like a deep conditioner. So I guess I used about half, maybe a little bit more than half. So I definitely have enough to like try to go at it again. So I'm going to come back in like half an hour <laughs> and that'll be that. But that's what we, this is what we're working with before I go let it chill for a while. Oh my goodness, look at that. Anywho, um, yeah. Me back in a bit. So I'm gonna just rinse it all to show you guys since it's like a special treatment, which means I'm probably not gonna section my wash and go because we lazy like that. People have been requesting a side part forever, so I'm gonna do a side part for you guys, yay. <laughs> so excitement will be the side part and the rest of the Moroccan Gold line, the Moroccan Gold conditioner which I will use as my leave-in and the Moroccan Gold Oil Jelly. Stay tuned for that excitement coming up. <laughs> so I'm back after pretty much deep conditioning with the clear treatment. Yes, yes, it feels good. Nicely scented moisture. All right, side part activated. I guess this is close enough to the side to be a side. It's not like the deepest side ever, but it'll work, right? If you guys want it even deeper next time, let me know, but, but I think we're on the side. Rinsing. I mean it's cute and all but for me it's just a great deep conditioner. My hair still feels great after rinsing which is good of course always good to have your hair still feel soft, still feel moisturized, still feel the slip. I guess that's the deep details for you guys and let's get on with the rest of the show which is the wash and go using the cream rinse conditioner, the oil jelly marmalade, the dash of my scalp stimulating growth oil in between as you guys know I love this. So the conditioner just seems to be a regular conditioner so far for me. I guess it is slightly fruity but definitely light and sweet. Um, the texture is actually pretty light as well. So um, let's go. I mean light for conditioner. 
condition and not life for leaving. <laughs> Which is what it's about to be, I guess. So, why is it giving me coconut? I'm getting like, I feel like if it smells like coconut, I'm getting a little coconut vibe or, you know, island vibe, I guess, somewhere. Nice to it. At least after the conditioner. Pretty much after the condition, anything can have nice to it, but my hands are going through fine. So this is my after the conditioner. <laughs> I must say, I feel like I like it more as a rinse out than as a leave-in. It just feels kind of rinse out-ish. I don't know what it is about it, but it just kind of has a heavier feeling in my hair than a typical um, leave-in to me. But we are proceeding. The definition could be better as well. Of course, I guess the definition isn't necessary for a rinse out as much as for a leave-in. But we proceed then. Proceeding. With a little bit of oil and then the jelly. The oil jelly marmalade. So it is very or rather loose in here, so I'm a little <laughs> cautious. Um but let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, yeah, very light. <laughs> for you guys just a light very light fruity scent not like the usual candyish fruity but maybe it's just pectiny and not really fruity but a little light kind of rich scent I could have flakes in the back that's okay so let me just get this back what we're working with um before shake so yeah i'm nervous with it being super runny it's a little bit concerning for hold but we'll see it could go either way at this point so we'll see let me do my shake love the bounce all right <laughs> so this is it in the cutest little thing <laughs> but we'll see about the whole and stuff when it dries it feels good like it feels like super juicy but we'll see when it dries how much of that juice sticks around see you in a bit <laughs> okay guys so this is my result i am liking it i like the volume I like the shape even though I'm doing a side part. Take a good look because I'm not really a fan of side parts. So you're not going to see this often. So take a look. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like this little extra bit of volume I get from the side part. Well, that's one thing I'll say about it. Um, but anyway, so I do like the wash and go. It is moisturized. I do feel whole. The volume is there. The softness is there and everything. So the only reason that I would say like I probably won't be purchased is just that it wasn't like a she. Like there's a better she scented deep conditioner or mask. <laughs> a better she scented like leave-in or conditioner, better she scented styler. So this would probably actually be my favorite she scented conditioner for now just because it's my only. But I don't really buy rinse out conditioners like that. But it didn't really do that kind of leave-in stuff for me. Definitely did rinse out stuff. My hair felt moisturized. It went on really good, but it just kind of felt heavy in a sort of way and it didn't really feel like, I don't know, leave ready. <laughs> like the leave part of leave and ready didn't feel like light and style and everything. 
when I had it in. So I did try to kind of stick to the instructions, but like I said, the instructions were a little complicated too. Because this detox is supposed to like detoxify and condition, but then she also wants you to follow up with a conditioner. So I was just getting a bit lost between this and the shampoo, two-in-one shampoo, and the lack of leaving in the line and everything. It was kind of a complicated line to review and to try. I guess after the flaxseed, passion fruit and flax line, like that treatment I love so much, I was just kind of hoping for even bigger and better things. So nobody asked me to hope for even bigger and better things just because of some fancy names and labeling and launching and everything. I took it upon myself to be like, ooh, maybe this is going to be super great. And it was great, but it was, she said it great. It wasn't like better than any she said that I ever tried. So I'm a little disappointed, but it was still good. Let me know if any of you guys got the jelly and what the consistency was. <laughs> it was running. So let me know if you got it and if this is like the seal texture or the real texture. If it is supposed to be thicker, I'll be willing to try it again. As of now, I prefer the plum nectar and agave and tahiti cocktail custards. But the moisture was there, the slip was there, the hold is there. But I just, it was just really runny for me and I just had to use a lot. At least no flakes, so we've established that the whole flake situation I had with Natural Club wasn't my application style. It was just the product needing to be worked in extra, extra. But yeah, I'm grateful that the hole was there and it still looked like any other custard. Definitely gave me some definition and everything. I do feel like my hair is moving and stuff, which is great. I don't know, I want to say I feel like it could have been moving even more, but maybe again that's because I just cut it and there isn't that much to move. Usually I feel like I have more movement, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe it's because it's short as well, so I don't know, I'll hold out on that. Did my coils right? I do have the two-in-one shampoo to try, and I do have the mousse to try. Since the ones that I used, like the mask, conditioner, and the jelly were kind of the ones that I was expecting big things from, I'm almost afraid to try the ones that I was like a little bit <laughs> nervous about. Because, just because I haven't used the two-in-one shampoo in forever, and I don't think I ever used the mousse, so now I'm kind of scared to try these. But I will be trying them eventually, I guess later on in the year. So... Look out for that, I guess. <laughs> I hope this was helpful to you. If you've tried it, let me know. And you definitely won't go wrong. Everything is moisturizing and everything sets you right. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. She said it Moroccan gold. I'm not sure what I'm going to review next. Oh, these days it's been getting kind of hard to come on, I'll tell you. But I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Like, that's about the most I can say. But bear with me. And thanks for watching. And I'll keep the reviews coming and my journey coming, I guess. <laughs> so, see you in the next one. Bye.